another Sunday and another idea. This time we are going to have a real nail biter. Uh, what you are going to see here today is what happens if you don't do what most streamers do. I blame quite a lot of them for falling back too early and uh, kind of like I know that for the win ratio for massive 10k damage games it's usually better to fall back and farm damage but I really hate doing that I'd rather sometimes lose but at least properly fight and hold my ground I know it's probably not the best and smartest but it's just something I enjoy doing and this is going to be one of those examples where everybody is going to fall back but I won't and when it works oh boy does it work from the beginning what we see here is that our IS-7 went into the uh, heavy flank I wanted to go with him, but I didn't want to be one of the only two tanks that did do that, so I instead went to the middle. A uh, couple of bad shots onto the into the light tanks. Uh, some of them connected, some of them didn't. Not a big deal so far. Uh, we are the only supporting medium from the middle, so we need to really uh, make sure that we are connecting our shots. Uh, what we do here is we don't want to stand in one spot for too long, but we always want to be ready to shoot if something is spotted. There's six light tanks in this uh, game, so we really want to utilize the, uh, the vision that they provide. Every time uh, a light tank is relocating, I'm relocating with them. You'll see me uh, moving from spot to spot, not too far from um, each and one of them, but you'll see that I do not sit in the exact same spot for too long because I try to align myself with the light tanks. So as you can see, his EBR is moving up, uh, T100 is, uh, is currently stationary, but I keep looking at the minimap and I keep watching what do they do. So I see the EBR uh, being stationary, so I am being patient. I want to, um, I want the enemy lights to make a mistake, so I'm ready to counter them. I see the T100 move, so I move as well. Every time they move, I move. This is something that's absolutely worth doing. Even if they're not uh, doing the best job, for example, the EBR, I think it'd be better for him if he was in the middle. Definitely not doing what he's doing right now, but <laughs> uh, you can't choose your teammates, right? So. Uh, and E4 gets spotted, so I go up, I switch to hit, and I ho hope for a shot there, and it does connect. E4 is penetratable uh, with uh, high penetration heat, so I do that S quick switch to the APCR into the Manticore. I really want him out of this game because the six enemy light tank, the six light tanks is quite a lot um, to fight. And as predicted, predicted, as predicted at the beginning. S7 is uh, falling down and there's nothing we can do about this. We knew from the beginning that this flank is going to be lost. Uh, what we're trying to, trying to do here is trying to salvage uh, what we can. So I keep uh, aligning myself with the EBR. EBR is, do EBR is doing circles, so I am getting ready and uh, he gets shot by D4. I switch to heat. Uh, I shoot. I miss, unfortunately. Uh, not a big deal, though. So we are down the light tank and somehow artillery as well. Never mind, they. Eh? T100 LT, still passive, but I am in position to support him. I keep watching that, that IS-7, seeing uh, how long he can, he can hold, what we can do to support him, so I move uh, into a position where I can be more useful to him. Uh, swap to switch to APCR because I plan to blind shoot the Manticore, but I get outspotted by the Manticore, and I bounce an AP shell from the FV. Uh, lucky there, could have been the end of it, uh, but I really want this Manticore out of this game because now without the EBR, uh, I think the Manticore is going to be a major, major threat and he, we need him out of the game. Uh, but we can't spend the entire game shooting blind. What we see is EBR uh, coming up, our Pajetto shooting him, and IS-7 still holding, but not for much longer. So what we need to make sure is that whenever the IS-7 is falling, he is taking as many enemies with him as possible. We are trying to be there uh, to do as much damage uh, to the enemy as possible. Uh, the enemy is still hesitant. They're not committing to... They're not committing really, um, which is good for us because it gives our other flank time to advance, which they should because they're fighting one tank. But it's just one of those teams that does not move up and there's nothing you can do about it. So what I do is I try to help as much as I can and uh, you're going to see uh, in a moment how does, it, does the situation uh, 
evolve. Uh, 2790, not a nice tank to face at any distance, uh, but hey, this is what we have. I keep switching ammunition because I just don't know what tanks am I going to be shooting at. And I do hit. I shot blind, but it gets, gets spotted before, so. A good connection there on the gorilla, putting pressure on those tanks, reducing the hit points of them as much as we can. This is really not looking great. The map control is uh, on the enemy's favor, definitely. Our <laughs> our flank that was fighting a single tank is now falling back. <sighs> you just can't win sometimes, right? So we have 2685. TBP uh, fallen back into the red line, uh, Grille on the red line, Leopard on the red line, uh, our light tank in the bush line on the red line as well. It's just not looking very good. Do you think we can turn this into a victory? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So uh, I had to take that shot. I didn't want to uh, get spotted and lose hit points for that, but that was important. We need to uh, get rid of the enemy vision uh, down to last APCR shell, but the enemy has lost the light tank. So now they only have a Manticore that is a one shot and now he is dead we finally got him the enemy has now no light tanks they have reduced vision i get lucky with the artillery uh, splashing me for no damage but we just lost our light tank now look at the minimap every single tank is on the k line every single one apart from me and i get pinged by is7 oh. I, mate, I was the only one trying to do something. But take a look at this. 2,300 damage, 200 assistance. This is not great by any means, but it's not the score that matters. Look at where we are, where the enemy is, and where is my team. Can we pull this off? Can we win this game? Ch check this out. So I know that the AV is... Uh, I can shoot him. But it's very risky for me to shoot at anything at this stage because I don't have the full uh, set of information about where's the projector, where's the TVP. TVP hasn't been spotted the entire game. Uh, I don't know, maybe one to one has moved up. I, I can be spotted by pretty much moving out of this bush into any position. I feel secure here. I don't want to risk anything. This E50M, I'm not going to shoot hit this guy. It's suicide. If I shoot him, I, I die and my team is gone. We lost. Pretty much, if I die, we lose 100% because there is no more vision and that's it. Luckily, uh, our spotting on the on the E50 worked. Uh, I still don't risk the shot on the AV. That was like 440 meters. Maybe if I shot, he would spot me. I don't know. I need to make sure that if I fire, it's meaningful. So what do we do? We have this position here secure. We know that one to one is now moving up. All I need to know is where is that TVP? <laughs> Lucky spot on the E4. Um, those bushes really saved me there. Uh, I don't mind that he doesn't get shot for it uh, as long as I am not getting shot for it as well. Now, with so many bushes in front and behind me, I am okay to shoot the TVP that's been spotted for the first time now. I focus the tank with fewer amount, amount of hit points. I need to remove the guns out of this game. Uh, he is now dead now to the TPP. I need to clear at least one flank having all you have center right and left, right? If you lose all three, you lose the game. If you clear one, you're still having a fighting chance. So this is my focus. I'm trying to secure one flank so I can focus on uh, the other two. A little bit of problems with counter depression, but TVP dies. Unfortunately, E4 kills our TVP. That means we have lost one flank, but the enemy doesn't have it because the TVP also died. So now there's two kind of two flanks. Enemy has center and the right, we have the corner. That's it. It is winnable. I need to uh, start doing damage here because uh, I know that I can't be spotted by the medium tanks. And a little bit of uh, risk, but I don't think. With my 38% camouflage, FV uh, is most likely not going to spot me. Now, E4 is a threat. I can't shoot him without get, get, getting spotted, so I need to count on my team to do damage to him. I'm only trying to go high enough to spot him, but not close enough so he spots me. There goes the projector. With this those amount of bushes, I should be able to shoot him, no problems. So one, a little bit lucky there, I should have aimed this better. And that did not kill him. That was a really nasty shot. But what happened is 
our team gathered the forces together. I don't know if you noticed this, how this game turned around. It was pretty much doom at one point, at one point. but the enemy pushed in, I remained where I was, I helped to clear one flank, our team pushed the other flank, all of a sudden this is not looking too bad anymore. It's 12 to 10, it's pretty much a victory, like, did you see that uh, coming? Because I sh I certainly didn't. When I was sitting that that little bush of mine, I was thinking this is my demise. All I need is one unlucky uh, spot and I am uh, dead. Uh, luckily that didn't happen and we are still in the game with 800 hit points and enough to take out a hit from the projector if that is needed, but... There we go, we killed the projecto, 4000 damage, 1700 assistance, nothing impressive, right? But we hold the ground, we really, really did our best to secure this victory. And I'm quite happy with the decision that I made. Uh, I should be okay taking one shot from the uh, E4, that was an extremely lucky shot, but hey, you missed all the shots you don't take, right? A lazy out aim costs me no damage there, but we know that he doesn't have a fully traversable turret, so we are abusing this knowledge. Uh, basically, E4 can only move his turret 90 degrees to the left and 90 to the right, and then cheeky high explosive into the ass. And I'm still surprised the artillery didn't uh, finish me here. I was sure that he is going to, uh, but he didn't. And there we go. All of a sudden, 5.8 thousand damage, victory, snatched from the jaws of defeat, and really, really happy with this. This is part of the reason why I really like to hold my ground, even though it's probably not always the best. I know that most streamers play in this awful way that that is effective, it just works. If I was to fall back another line, if I was to go into, let's say, K-line with the rest of my team, I'd probably have more damage. But it's not about the damage, it's it's about the, the enjoyment and the thrill. So I was thrilled to be where I was and to do what I did. It made me have fun. And that's an idea for you today. Have fun, do something that's not typical, uh, do something that might seal, sound silly, it's not reasonable, but it gives you the enjoyment. So, a lesson of the day, I guess, and I'll see you in the post-game stats. And since Wargaming has updated the client, uh, we are watching the post-game stats from a website, but as I always say, this is not about the result. It's about uh, how we got there, and we got there in style. Uh, really exciting gameplay, and this is why we keep playing this game and can't pretty much stop. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one, probably next Sunday. Ta-da!